October has been unusually quiet on this channel this year. I planned on reviewing a few movies but never got around to doing it, but I thought there was no way I could get to the end of the month without talking about the new Halloween movie. I've talked about the Halloween series quite a lot on this channel, you can watch the two series reviews I've done of it, but I really really like the series, especially the first two movies, H2O and surprisingly the Rob Zombie remake. At least the first of the two, the second one was pretty shit. The very first Halloween though is one of my all time favourite movies and one that I watch pretty much every single October. It's a classic horror movie that defined slasher movies and influenced an entire movement in horror movies over the 80s. Slasher movies in the last decade however have been pretty much non-existent except for like the odd sequel or remake. And although a lot of these movies have been absolutely terrible, I held out quite a lot of hope for the new Halloween sequel. The production company Blumhouse Productions have been behind some of the best horror movies of the past decade, Jamie Lee Curtis returned to play Laurie Strode, and of course John Carpenter was a consultant and producer on the film as well as one of the creators of the film's score. So the film had a lot going for it and there was a lot of hype from horror fans which is pretty understandable. Does it live up to the hype however? Absolutely. The film was just an absolute treat for Halloween fans and slasher fans in general, paying homage to the franchise in a very loving way without ever feeling pandering. The fan service in the movie worked because the film had a lot of other stuff to offer. It didn't just constantly cram it down your throat, there was a lot of other stuff going on that was really good as well. The film is a direct sequel to the original movie, completely disregarding every single other sequel, including the second one. Something that could have even worked really well or been a huge slap in the face to fans, but luckily it was the former of the two. The film is set 40 years after the original. Michael Myers is held in Smith's Grove Sanitarium and is completely mute. Two true crime podcasters go to visit him, brandishing the mask yet get no reaction out of him. Meanwhile, Laurie Strode, who has been deeply affected by the events of the movie, lives a very secluded life in a cabin covered in locks, traps and weapons, ready for Michael if he ever happens to escape. Because of how secluded she is, she has a terrible relationship with her daughter Karen, played by Judy Greer, who was taken away by child service as a kid because of Laurie constantly training her to kill Ready for Michael. Laurie, however, attempts to become a better person and put aside the events that happened after Karen's daughter Allison essentially snaps at her. However, after Michael escapes while being transferred to a maximum security facility, she goes into full hunting mode and makes sure her family is safe no matter what. Michael obviously goes on a huge killing spree, and Laurie, as well as Frank, Frank Hawkins, a sheriff deputy who was the first responder to the original murders, team up to stop Michael and kill him for good. The plot is pretty simple and the film is quite predictable. There's just so much fun that you don't care about that. The characters are all fleshed out really well and due to the really good performances are all a lot of fun to watch. There is not a single performance that I thought didn't work. Jamie Lee Curtis especially is fantastic in this movie and does a fantastic job of playing an older yet stronger Laurie who is clearly tormented by the things that happened in the first movie. I also really love that they brought back Nick Castle who played Michael Myers in the original and it was cool to see an older Michael instead of the Michael in the other movies that apparently just never aged. Although he doesn't reprise the role for the whole film, seeing him in general was really cool. The film does a great job of making Michael Myers genuinely quite scary, something that hasn't really been there since the very first movie. There is a really great section in the movie where he basically goes on a huge killing spree which is done in one shot, which I thought was one of the best moments in the movie and really well executed. No pun intended. The film is obviously full of gore, which is really well done as well. It all looks really realistic and there are a few moments that were genuinely quite gross and considering the amount of torture porn and shit that I've watched for it to gross me out is pretty impressive. The horror set pieces are all really great as well and there are a few that are super original and well done. All of this is completely enhanced by the new score from John Carpenter which was just absolutely incredible. His score uses many of the beats and memorable moments from the original but he also expands on it and creates a lot of new moments which are all really great. It adds to the charm of the film and how it feels familiar yet new. Although all of this is really great there are a couple of things that I didn't think worked too 
well in the film. Luckily, most of the issues I had were very, very minor and I could look past them, but I did have a couple of gripes, especially when it comes to the film's dialogue. Although for the most part, it isn't anything too terrible. There are a few scenes where they try to introduce new characters and develop them before they're killed, and they're given these long scenes of dialogue about dancing and sandwiches and shit that I didn't think worked at all. They really halted the movie and weren't funny in the slightest so ultimately could have just been cut. As well as this, a lot of the humour didn't work too well which was odd considering it was co-written by Danny McBride and directed by the director of Pineapple Express. I thought the humour would be some of the best bits in it because of this but surprisingly it was actually the complete opposite. The best bits in the film were watching Michael Myers stalk and kill and luckily that is basically the entire film. It doesn't take its time to get going there's like 20 minutes of setup and then the rest of the movie is just full speed ahead. Which I personally thought made the film super entertaining. Although I've only seen the film once so far so it's hard to really say where I think the film ranks in the series. I think the film is potentially the best film since the original. If you're a fan of the Halloween movies or slasher films in general this film is just unmissable. It's a fast paced, well made, exciting and just fun movie that will satisfy genre fans regardless of their knowledge of the lore of the original movie. I give the new Halloween movie an 8.5 out of 10.